Yo, what is going on boys and girls? It's your boy Priesta back for another video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be a claw cam video. So I've actually done this in the past. It was when we were in the offseason playing Ghost and MWR and all that stuff before this game actually came out. Uh, so I'm, I decided to remake the video because I personally didn't even like the video that much. But uh, it actually got a lot of views on it. So I'm going to remake that. Hopefully this one's better. I'm going to make the, the camera of the claw cam bigger. So I think that will help you guys out more. So let's hop right into it. Hope you guys do enjoy the video. Alright guys, so before I start shooting, I'm just going to kind of show you how I hold my controller. So, I put it like this, I my, my pointer finger and my middle finger on my left hand, like this. And then I have my right pointer finger setting on top of these buttons. I know I like to have it like resting, looks like there's like this little increase or like whatever it is right here. And it kind of like just fits my finger perfectly right there. So like when I'm just running around like this, I'm going to have it like this a lot. Um, mainly, keep it like kind of on the triangle I guess. But like whenever I have to click buttons, I kind of just like move it around up here. Um, I know people like to keep their finger kind of like this, but it kind of kind of throws me off a little bit. So I kind of just rest my finger up here until I have to click a button. Um, so yeah, nothing crazy. If you are just starting out playing claw, I will say it's gonna hurt your hands. It's not gonna be easy. It took me a very long time to get used to, but I kind of naturally picked it up. So if you guys, you know, like haven't really naturally picked it up and deciding between playing claw and a scuff i would definitely get a scuff unless you obviously like can't afford it or are not in a position to get a scuff then i suggest playing claw obviously if you can if you can get used to it um now i noticed another thing like when i shoot you'll see it a lot like when i shoot my pointer finger kind of goes up like 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 this and i think it like helps me with my shot i don't know what it is kind of just like naturally happens it's not in every single gunfight but i actually do it a lot um, so I haven't really shot my gun, so I don't know how straight I'm gonna be shooting right now. I'm actually, beaming kids low key. But yeah, like I said, I made a video like this in Ghost. It just like, it wasn't the best video. The camera to the claw cam, like it just wasn't like big. So I thought I could make a better one. Um, but the results in the last video are actually pretty good. So I've actually been getting re requests to do this video a lot. Probably shoot maybe like 80 bots. Depending on how long that takes, not too sure how long that's gonna take, but so like people ask me a lot if I grip my controller hard or if I barely grip it. I actually grip the controller like a little bit harder on my right hand, it feels like, compared to my left. I think it's just the way I hold my controller. It doesn't really matter if you're gripping it hard or not. However you feel comfortable really. But uh yeah, I've been playing claw since I can remember. Um Really, since I started playing COD, I've been playing Claw. I kind of naturally picked it up uh, back when I played like Halo and uh, Counter Strike. I don't know if you, a lot of you guys knew I played those games, but I played Counter Strike and Halo. Counter Strike on the console, not on the PC. Um, but Counter Strike is the game that actually got me playing Claw. So basically, like, there's this vent that you had to jump and crouch into, and I couldn't do it. So I eventually like just brought my pointer finger up, just had to like you know jump and crouch at the same time, and I just. I, I just figured it out. Like, I just got it. It was weird. I don't know what it was, but, like, I just picked it up. Like I said, it kind of just naturally came to me. It wasn't like I forced it. Like, I didn't even know Claw was a thing until one of my friends was, like, watching me play. And he's like, yo, you play Claw. I was like, what the hell is that? And he, like, showed me a YouTube video. I was like, well, I guess I do. Shit. But like I said, Claw definitely takes a very long time to, uh, to get used to. It's not something that just, you know, happens. I, I, I've had a lot of people come in my chat and be like, yo, like, I just started playing Claw like a week ago, and I'm already used to it. Like, yeah, you can get the concept of it, but you're not going to be 100% used to it. It'll take you a long time, man. Your fingers your fingers will hurt for a very long time. I'm, I've kind of overcome that now. Like, my fingers don't really hurt. Unless I play for, you know, 10 hours straight. Like, nonstop. Then my fingers will definitely still hurt. Because it's just a lot of stress and on your fingers, you know what I'm saying? So, you gotta kind of just got to grind with it. You know, mess around with this, see how you, how, how you like to play. Like I said, I hold the controller differently than most people. I know uh, Scum put a clock hand video out a while ago. I actually watched it. I can't remember how he holds his controller exactly, but I'm pretty sure I hold mine a little bit different than his. Like I said, like I rest my pointer finger like right here a lot, like right above triangle. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people like to put their finger like this on circle. I think that's how Tommy does it, but like my shot just like gets completely butt cheeks when I do that. Like, I don't know, like I wanna click circle when I play like this, it's weird. So most of the time I have it either just sitting across, 
Like all the buttons. Or I'll have it like above triangle. But yeah guys, hope this video is helping you guys out. Uh, if you guys are trying to learn claw, if you guys just want to see how I play. But yeah, this uh no, this is normal. It's actually a battle beaver controller. Um people ask me why I don't use scuff. There's not I don't I don't really know. I never really tried a scuff. I actually was able to get a battle beaver when I was on cloud nine. Uh Aix actually recommended to me, he's like, yo, you might you might like it. So I was like I tried it out. But before that I always use default controllers. Uh just because I always play claw, I never really use a scuff or anything to, like that paddles or buttons on the back. Get to cover. Enemy care package observed. Uh, so yeah, this is just a regular controller, no paddles, no buttons on the back. Another thing about Scuff, the only, the, like, really the only reason I haven't really tried it out is because they have the, uh, like, the things in the back for the paddles that are, like, right here, and, like, it kind of touches your fingers. And, I mean, I'm sure I could get used to it, but, like, I've been used to default controllers. So, Battle Beaver, not having the, like, paddle things in the back, just, uh, it's just more comfortable for me. But nothing against Scuff, they're an awesome company. I just uh, prefer Battle Beaver, I guess. Yeah, it's weird. Like, I notice, like, when I shoot, uh, I, I, like, pull my pointer finger up. Like this. Like, it helps me steady my aim. It's, it's actually weird. And this being a boots on the ground COD, it actually helps me because I don't have to be like sliding around. Like I don't have to keep my finger like on circle at all times compared to like IW where you kind of had to be just ready to click any button. Like click X a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like your finger is just always here. Compared to this game where you kind of just run around, you pre-aim, you stalk around. You don't really have to jump or do anything crazy, you know? Like I said, man, if you guys are learning paw, it's going to take you a while. I mean, you might get the concept pretty quick of it. Like, obviously, you're probably going to watch this video and put your fingers exactly how I have it. But trust me, man, your movement, your shot's going to be a little bit off. But until you're not missing, until you have the best movement in the game, until your fingers aren't hurting, you're not used to it. Plain and simple. You could say you are. You're not, though. It will take a while. And I don't know how I just killed this guy. So I was actually playing against bots, um, I think it was yesterday or the day before. I went on a 200 kill streak. <laughs> it was actually hilarious, dude. I was just running around with the PPSH and I found a shotgun. I think it was a combat shotgun. Yeah, this one right here. Just fucking destroying people. It was it was the funniest thing, dude. So the difficulty of bots, it's on recruit. If you guys are wondering, if you guys have, if you guys can't tell, they're not on any difficulty. So I I used to put them on like veteran. But to be honest, if I'm just like practicing my shot. I'm gonna get my shot warm. There's no point in even putting him on veteran. Unless you're trying to get your reaction up. If you wanna get your reaction up, definitely shoot veteran bots. For sure. Cause they will kill you very quick if you miss. If you miss, you're pretty much fucked. These bots, look at you can kinda just like See, I mean he bay an enemy, but like they give you that extra couple of seconds to kill them. So if you're trying to practice your shot, play on recruit. If you wanna practice awareness, or not awareness, if you wanna practice your um your reaction, definitely put it on veteran. If you want to pa you practice your uh, awareness, don't play with the radar on. The reason I like to play on uh, radar on is because I feel like it gets me in the most engagements. So I kind of just, I mainly shoot bots to get my hands warm. Because right now, I'm, like, I don't really, I obviously miss here and there. For the most part, my shot's pretty good. Um, I don't think my awareness is that bad. My reaction isn't bad. So I kind of just, you know, play bots to get warm. I did say I was going to shoot 80 bots, but now I'm at 120, so I'm kind of just going to keep going. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. Uh, if you guys are starting out to play COD, or Claud, I said Claud. If you guys are starting out to play Claud, if you guys are starting to play Claw, you know, good luck. But like I said, uh, I suggest playing with a Scuff or a Battle Beaver, whatever you prefer. Uh, just because it'll be easier on your hands, for sure. I know uh, people get like arthritis and stuff quicker from playing claw. I just been playing claw for so long that I really don't want to change. So that's the only reason I've kind of stuck with it. Fighter pilot in 
target information. Ah, dude, this shotgun is actually nuts. But yeah, this video is gonna be a lot better than the last video I posted. If you guys did watch that, just because I'm telling you, the claw cam, like my camera, was just so small. You literally probably had to like lean up to your monitor to see my hands. So I just wanted to remake the video. I took the other one down because I per I personally didn't like it, but it got a lot of views on it. Maybe I should have kept it up, but who knows? But yeah, guys, I've been trying to post as much content as I can on YouTube recently. I think this is the third day in a row. So um, if I get any more ideas, I'll keep going. Just kind of, you know, putting out content when I can. Uh, we have a couple week break until we fly out to Columbus again for the league. What is what is happening right now? Yeah, we have a little bit of a break, so I'm kind of just putting out some content for you guys. If you guys haven't checked out the past couple of videos, go check them out. Um, did a little recap video on how uh, season one is going for us. And then, uh, or yesterday, since I'm posting this tomorrow. Uh, yesterday, I posted a video just kind of ranting about Call of Duty and what I think they could do better. And what I think they could add in to just make COD better. And mainly just talking about camos, like how they could add camos, team camos, and just advertisement, stuff like that. So go check those out if you guys haven't. Hope you guys did enjoy this video, but I think I'm about to end it. Uh, so like I said, if you guys are starting to play Claw, good luck. I um, hope this video helps some of you guys. I'm not sure if it did. I'm sure most of you guys are coming here just to kind of see how I play. I don't know. Like I said, hope you guys did enjoy. Drop that thumbs up if you guys haven't. Uh, comment below on what you guys think of how I can hold the controller or whatnot. I don't know if I hold it different compared to other people that play Claw. I think I do. I know I hold it different than Zuma. Because he plays with his he, he, play, he plays with his finger like this at all times. I just can't get used to it. I'm sure I could get used to it if I just kept practicing. But I'm just gonna keep playing how I have. It's been working, so. Like I said, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys all tomorrow for another video. If I do post. I'm gonna try to post again tomorrow. For sure. Um I don't know what the video is gonna be. Uh, I may tweet out for some ideas if I don't come up with one. Uh, but yeah, guys, until next time. Peace.